Stan Gerbalisco here uh, with something from Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. I will include a link to the Amazon page for this uh, book in the description of this video. But what this video is actually about is a half-wave rectifier circuit, the simplest type of method to get pulsating direct current from alternating current. Here we have the circuit. It's just a diode in the hot line of the, for example, AC utility. Input is alternating current, and the output looks like this. Pulsating direct current. The way that it works is that electrons can only flow against the arrow in a semiconductor diode in a schematic diagram. So if you see a semiconductor diode, you know that electrons can generally only flow against that, air, that arrow. So we get a positive polarity here and a negative polarity at ground relative to this because electrons can only leave this terminal like this and go back into the AC utility. If they attempt to come from the AC utility and get into this terminal, remember electrons are negatively charged, they can't. So we only get a deficit of electrons here, a deficit of negative charge, which translates, of course, into a positive charge. This is figure 20-1 out of the book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition, by the way. And this is what the output waveform actually looks like. Half of it is chopped off. An alternating current would go like this. But because we can't get a negative polarity through to this terminal and only the positive half of the cycle can make it this is what we get a pulsating direct current now that type of current is not suitable for most electronic devices what we need to do in order to make that current smooth is filter it somehow and there are ways to do that simplest way is to just connect a large value capacitor right across here. And maybe I'll explain that in another video about filters for power supply circuits. Stan Gibalisco, author of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. Hope you learn from this book if you buy it. And I uh, encourage you to buy it if you want to, uh, or check it out from your local library. Until next time, so long.